Hello everyone. In this video, we will go through the date transforms available in Power Query. So I've got this data with me, which is the sales data. And as you can see, I've got the calendar year, the date of sale, the month, the quarter, internet cost and internet sales amount. So uh, let us open this data in Power Query Editor. I've got Excel 2016 with me, so I go to the data tab and then I click on the from table option and the power query tab the power query editor opens for me as you can see power query editor has loaded the data and it has given uh, uh, specific data types to each column so for example if you go on the home tab you can see the data type for the first one is whole number for order date it has selected the data type as date it is very important that this data type gets selected as date so that various date transforms are available to you let's say um, i'll show you what are the options available i'll just create a copy of this column and uh, show the transforms on that so now we will go on the transform option and we'll go to the date tab. So the first thing you can see is whether we want the year, start of the year or end of the year. So let's say we already have the year though, but just for the sake of demonstration, I'll uh, remove all these columns. Let me remove this. And um, yeah, so we'll just get the date from here. Give me the year. So I get the year. So you can see that we've got the order year now. Let's create another copy of this and or let's just experiment with this. So we've got the order here instead of order here. Let's say we yeah, we'll have to probably remove this. Create another copy. And then again, go to the date column. It gives me the option to start of the year. So as you can see, it is giving me that what is the start of this year. So it's the 1st of January, 2015 for all the data, for 2005 for all the data, sorry. Um, I could change it and let's say I just want the last day of the year and not the first day. So It gives me 31st December. Now it keeps adding these applied steps. So I'm going to remove the start of the year step, but I've got the end of the year. Now let's say I, I let's just for demonstration, I want to go to the month and uh, let's just remove the calculated end of the year as well. So I've got the date, it's just a copy now and I want to get the start of the month. So it's the, let's say I want to get the month. So I get the month of this. As you can see, it's the July. So it's given me seven. If you go further down, you can see August and other months. So don't need this, remove that. Go to the date, month, start of the month. So it gives me the starting date of the month. Again, removing the step, so it brings me back to this. I can get days in the month as well. So 
This can be a very handy feature if supposing we are trying to calculate the salary or salary paid per day we could get this and then divide the salary by the number of days in the month remove this day so it gives us the day of the week day of the year start of day end of day it doesn't do much actually start of day end of the day because that would become relevant in case of date time data type so we've already got the quarters but let's say if we say quarter of the year so it gives us the july is in the third quarter of the year and you can see that most of it matches with what we already had so start of quarter would probably give us so in this case it would give us 1st of jan so you can see this for the fourth quarter it's giving us the 1st of october as the start of the quarter again deleting that step and going back it can also give us the week of the year week of the month start of the week end of the week so these are quite handy functions so let's say we just go for week of the year so it'll give us a numeric value which tells us that what is the number of the week in the year so that's might be a handy feature sometimes i've not explored what earliest and it, it is earliest and last would be the last or the first date so it will be like the maximum or the minimum function if you're aware of sql but i'll just show you so if i say earliest it will just return first of july 2005 because that's the first date that we have available with us see that so i'll remove that and the last day would be the last sales date so if i go and latest it says it's the 31st of july 2000 Eight. so there are quite a few date functions available um, with power query the only thing you need to be aware is that the data type for that particular column is set to date there are other options available date time time and others which we'll explore in other videos but for the moment i just wanted to take you through the various transforms available for the date column in power query i hope you found this video useful and it helps you uh, work and learn Power Query better. Thanks for watching this video.